Me 33 male and wife 34 male have been married for 11 years. We have one kid 6 female. We have a big house. She earns more than I do but generally we are very stable financially. Our marriage has been good with normal ups and downs up until the beginning of last month. My new job, which I had gotten after I was fired from my first job when the pandemic hit, requires me to travel a lot. My wife was happy as she had started complaining. When she saw like she's the only one working and I was doing nothing to look for a new job. I had been gone for two weeks and this was the first time I had was out of town for the job. I got lucky and got to go home three days early. I dropped by at a friend's house to pick up some flowers. To surprise my wife. He is a florist only to find my wife in the kitchen putting her clothes back on and my friend zipping his pants. My heart dropped and I felt like fainting. I couldn't see and I felt like throwing up. I took out my phone and takes a few photos. I get back to my car leave and book a hotel room a few miles away. I text my wife and tell her that I won't be home in another week due to work. Cheating has always been a deal breaker for me. I know what it can do to people as my brother has been cheated on severally. And it totally broke him. I call him tell him everything. He is very supportive. We call his lawyer and files for the divorce. A week later my wife is served. My phone blows up with texts and calls. She denies cheating. I sent her the proof and I hang up the phone. She asks me to come home and talk. I sent the photos to my parents and her parents so that she doesn't spin the story. Switch off my phone and I decide to use my work phone. I switch it back on two days later. And my phone is spamming with texts and calls from friends and family. I talk to my mom who asks me to go check up on my daughter. I get home and my wife gets on her knees crying, begging, sobbing asking for forgiveness and another chance. She was a mess and looked like someone who haven't had sleep in a long time. I was having none of it and I packed her shit up and kicked her out of my house. Called her parents to come pick her up. She spends the whole day at my door crying asking me to open the door so that we could talk. My parents pick my daughter up school and stay with her for the next few days. For the next few weeks my wife tried to talk to me. She would show up at my work, found her at the door in the morning before I left for work and before I came back home, asking her friends to try speak to me. Somehow convinced my parents to take her side asked me to at least try to talk to her. Her parents even came and asked to talk to her that she's not good. At other times she came with her friends to try to talk to me. I was adamant that I didn't want to talk anything about the cheating or reconciliation or I wanted to talk about was the divorce. Anyway it all stopped for a few days before I got a call from my mom telling me that my wife tried to commit suicide. She was in the hospital. Mom asked if I could go check on her since she tried to commit suicide because of me. I get to the hospital and her parents won't let me see her especially her mother who looked at me with cold eyes. Most of her friends and family blamed me. The nurse talks to them since my wife kept asking if I came to check on her. I go in and she immediately starts crying. I felt guilty and sorry for her. She apologized profusely. She said that she didn't want to lose me and if I wasn't in her life then her life is meaningless. She said that the affair was the most stupid and selfish she ever made. They had been having an emotional affair for a week leading up to me leaving and turned physical when I left. It's been a two weeks since it happened. I told her to give me time to think about it and I have been numb the whole time. She got released and is staying with her parents. And I am regularly checking on her. I don't know what I'm looking for. I guess this is just a rant. Met up with my STBXW today. Surprised how well I handled it. Earlier in the week I had gotten some strange phone calls from numbers that were local. Both numbers I googled and Facebook. And they didn't belong to any businesses or anyone I knew. One of the numbers left a voicemail and I couldn't really make out what the voicemail said, just sounded like people talking in the background. The next day she texted me hey and I didn't answer. Then her mom texted me saying hey your wife wanted me to text you to make sure you didn't get charged for the insurance. This was strange because at the beginning she would just ignore me when I asked for her car payment or any other financial obligations we shared. She didn't care when I was paying the car insurance when we both were on the policy. So it was her trying to contact me via direct indirect method I believe. Fast forward to today and I get a phone call from a restricted number. After a few seconds I answer and no one said anything. I say hello, is anyone there? And just repeated hello for 30 seconds and still nothing. I finally said alrighty then and say goodbye. Maybe 5 minutes later I get this text message from my STBXW. Hey, I doubt I will hear anything from you, but I wanted to say something. I wanted to say I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for what I did to you and how I hurt you. I'm sorry for betraying you and leaving you heartbroken. I'm so 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 sorry. I really wish I could have done things differently and I apologized from the bottom of my heart. I did love you and you were a good guy. I just wanted you to know that I'm extremely sorry for what I did to you. 
I have not responded and will not. It's her turn to bathe in the pool of anxiety and depression. My reality is getting better and I'm feeling like I'm getting back to myself. That life is going to be alright. Her reality is just starting to kick in. Now that the high is wearing off and it's not all unicorns and rainbows out there. Met up with my STBXW today to tie up some loose ends as far finances. Gave her mail to her. And a few other random things that she left at the house. Before I went to meet her, I wanted to make myself look the best I could. We haven't seen each other in six weeks or so. Ever since it all happened I've been a hermit. All I do is go to work, go to the gym, going to therapy, and have been educating myself on everything relationships. I've lost 50 pounds, got new clothes, had a new haircut, shaved, and bought a new hat. I had some of my old confidence back and was feeling good. We went to lunch together at this local Mexican place. I got out of the car and smiled and waved at her. I proceeded to get her things out of my car and I started checking her out. I realized in that moment I have lost all attraction to her. She still looked the exact same. Messy hair, baggy clothes, didn't seem like she was taking care of herself at all. We get our table, sit down and order food. I proceed to ask how she been and what she has been up to. She said she's been doing well and then pauses for a moment and says, I don't know if I should tell you how well I have been doing because I don't want to hurt your feelings. I looked at her with a puzzled look and said, Okay lol. She proceeded to tell me she's been traveling to all kinds of places, eating all kinds of new food, staying in nice hotels, been hanging out with new friends, going to the gym, quit her antidepressants cold turkey, basically saying how well her life has been without me. She would go on and on and on about it, how great it is and how well she's doing. It was strange to me how hard she was trying to impress me. I guess. The more and more she talked the more I realized. She's trying super hard to validate how well she's doing and how great she has it right now to me. It seemed to me that she thought this was a competition of who's doing better after all of this and she had to let me know that she was winning. I was very calm, confident, and didn't give off any sad or depressed emotions. I answered questions with just enough information about how I was doing. I let my actions do the talking, my new look, my composure, my confidence and how well I was handling this situation. It didn't matter to me who was winning. I didn't care. I didn't know the person in front of me anymore. She was a stranger to me. It was a surreal moment when I realized that. I've gotten way better during my journey this far. I know it's still going to take a little longer, and that bad days are ahead, but I'm hopeful that everything is gonna work out for the best. Thanks.